Hi, good morning. Can we start uh, digital India is uh, one of the important aspect nowadays. Because due to COVID everything, teaching is online, Max maximum activities we are working online. And as well as social media is also is promoting this digital India. And uh, Digital India, let's talk about Digital India. Uh, digital India is a flagship program of the Government of India with vision to transform India into a digitally empowered, empowered society and knowledge economy. There are, uh, uh, basically it was started in, on 2nd July 2015 by Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi. Digital India is a campaign launched by Government of India to ensure that government services are made available to citizens electronically. The initiative includes plan to connect rural India with high-speed internet connectivity. And uh, there are three important vision of Digital India. Number one is digital infrastructure as a utility to every citizen. Number two, governance, governance and services on demand and digital empowerment of citizens. When we talk about digital infrastructure as a utility to every citizen, there should be high speed internet High, high speed internet connectivity, digital identity, everybody should have a one digital identity, mobile phone and bank account digitally operational, easy access to common service center and private space on public cloud and safe and secure cyber space. When we talk about second vision of uh, Digital India, govern governance and services on demand, seamlessly integrated services across departments, availability of services in real time from online and mobile platform, ease of doing business, financial transactions, electronic and cashless because we believe in cashless economy and uh, everything transaction should be by electronic financially transaction should be by electronic mode and all citizens entitlement on the cloud when we talk about digital empowerment of citizens universal digital literacy is required and uh, universal accessible digital resources also required and the availability of digital resources in Indian languages because there is the variety of the languages in, in, in our country. So uh, digital resources should be available as per their needs, as per their requirements like Bengali people, they can use these digital resources in their own language. South Indian people, they can use these resources in their languages and collaborative platform be required as well as citizens not required to submit government document certificate physically because government they believe digi lockers they are promoting digi lockers everybody should keep their, their they should open their lockers and uh, by their, their identity and they have to keep their uh, documents in these lockers so these lockers can be accessible by various societies and the nine pillars of Digital India, because Digital India concept is based on nine pillars, those are very, very important. One is broadband highway, universal access to mobile connectivity, then public internet access program, e-governance reforming government through technology, e kranti electronic delivery of services, information to all, electronics manufacturing, IT for jobs, early harvest programs then we come to the first niche first pillar is broadband highway broadband for all rural broadband for all urban and national information infrastructure government believe broadband should be provided to all rural areas and broadband for all urban areas and national information infrastructure should be created when we come to the universal access to mobile connectivity, the initiative focuses on network penetration and filling the gaps in connectivity in the country. Total 55,619 villages in the country that do not have mobile coverage. So we have to provide them this mobile coverage and comprehensive development plan for North East area. 
Then we come to the Public Internet Access Program, Common Service Center, CSCs, that should be provided to each and every one. Post offices as multi-service centers, CSC aims to cover 2.5 lakh of gram panchayats. Then we come to the e-governance, reforming government through technology. Form simplifications and field reduction because we would like to reduce field work and these forms should be simplified and that should be accessible through internet connectivity. Online applications and tracking, maximum work should be online application, online repositories should be more functional. Then we come to the e currently electronic delivery of services, transforming e-governance for transforming self-governance. Integrated services, non-individual services, ICT infrastructure on demand we require. Then we come to the information to all. Open data platform, everybody can access this data. That should be open digits, open uh, data can be available to everyone. Government shall proactively engage through social media and online messages. Nowadays, we can see uh, through government departments, we are getting even on uh, 15th August Independence Day, we have received the messages from government, uh, uh, government portals. So that's the in increasing our uh, digital, digitization of India. Then the electronics manufacturing, promoting electronics manufacturing target of Z net zero imports. We are preparing ourselves to our country. We have to be go for net zero imports. We are we should not import any electronic item from outside India. So electronic manufacturing should be focused, skill development, enhancing PhD because our employees, our citizens should be skill skill fully skill developed and they should be they, we are promoting PhDs. RMEs in electronics. Then we come to the IT for jobs, IT training for people in the smaller towns and villages, setting up BPOs and Northeast BPO promotion schemes, NEBPS that is promoting. So this being uh, early harvest program is also those projects implement in short timeline IT platform for messages and Wi-Fi in all universities because number of students they can access this Wi-Fi, this internet connectivity. And the composition of monitoring committee on digital India, it is headed by Prime Minister, uh, he is chairman and then finance minister, minister of communication and IT, minister of RD, minister of HRD, minister of health, Special invitees are Principal Secretary to PM, Cabinet Secretary, Secretaries of Expenditure, Planning, DOT and POST and Secretary, that why he is convener. That's all for the day. Thank you so much.